Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Josh Keatley, and today I want to show you guys how to get a jet in Grand Theft Auto 5. And the jet is by far the fastest vehicle in Grand Theft Auto 5, and it's just so much fun just to cruise around in a jet. It's the first Grand Theft Auto ever where you get a jet. It's so awesome. So where you have to go to get this jet, it's on the left hand side of the map, right by a beach. Right up north, you'll see the hump, and there's a little road right there that takes you into the military base. So once you're on the road that leads into the military base, you're going to go ahead and do your voodoo magic and spawn yourself a helicopter. If you don't know what the code is to spawn a helicopter, don't worry, I'm going to put that on the screen. You should see it somewhere right now, and it's also going to be down in the description for you. So you get in your helicopter, and you go ahead and turn and face towards the military base. Now you do want to stay kind of low to the ground and you want to move in kind of fast. The faster you move the better and that first big hangar that you see on the left side is where your jet is going to be. So you want to try to angle your helicopter to fly right into that base and you immediately get four stars when you enter the base so you got to do this quick and smoothly. Smashing into that jumbo jet right there is not required and holy shit did you guys see that jet right there? That shit was crazy. So you'll make your way to your jet, go up to it, press Y just like any vehicle and climb in. And do this quickly because everybody on the military base will be coming for your ass. Now I'm not saying that your entrance into this hangar is going to happen like this every time. That was probably a once in a lifetime entrance. But let me show you a little more practical entrance here where I simply just get out of my helicopter and run into the hangar and get the jet. Now in this clip I was going to get into that big jumbo jet that's usually sitting there for some reason it wasn't there and so I decided to go for the jet that's in the hangar. I've never been able to get into that jumbo jet you know every time I, I get close he opens the door and I get shot in the back you know it takes so damn long opening that damn door. Maybe the game won't let you get into it I'm not really sure I'm gonna keep trying hopefully soon I'm gonna put some gameplay of driving that big ass jumbo jet plane wherever the fuck it is. But if you guys know that you can get into it or you ever got into it, you know, please let us know down in the comments. You know, I'd love to hear about it. Now, I've tried taking a car into the military base. I tried parachuting. And out of all the strategies I did, this helicopter right into the hangar strategy does work really well. I definitely recommend it to you guys. Now, once you take off with the jet, it's extremely nice. Make sure that you do a couple barrel rolls. You know, you move around here and there. Because RPGs will be shooting at you and a tank will be shooting at you. So make sure you just kind of do some combat rolls and move around a little bit. And that's what they do in real life too. You know, anytime that like a cargo plane or you know, some type of special military plane that's car like carrying passengers, like a smaller one, in a combat zone, when they take off and before they land, they make sure to do combat rolls. That way, in case the enemy is shooting an RPG or something at them, you know, it's less chance that they'll get hit by that RPG. And I actually got to experience this in real life when I was in Iraq in 2004. My grandma passed away, so I had to go on emergency leave, and I got to ride in a smaller passenger jet type of thing. Not sure what that was called. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know the terminology. I was a truck driver. I didn't I had nothing to do with planes and shit like that. But uh, so we was in the small, you know, passenger plane, and they strap you in, you know, real good because they do all these combat rolls when they take off and before they land. So you know, you have to be strapped in real good, like right up against the wall, and you know, they do combat rolls and shit, and it's just crazy. The first time it happened to me, yeah, I was kind of freaking out. You know, it is kind of, kind of nuts. It's like a like riding some kind of ride at amusement park you know so they're going upside down over and over and over again like it's definitely wow it's definitely a fun experience so yeah back to this gameplay here uh, it's real awesome too the jet you know just like the combat helicopter you can switch over machine gun or missiles and press X to shoot your missiles and it's pretty awesome you can really do some damage with your missiles but I, I really like just flying around it's a lot of fun now, if you press B on your Xbox controller, you go into a cinematic camera mode, and it's really hard to drive when you're in this mode, but the view is just awesome, you know, it's just so much fun with the view like this. It does make it a lot harder, it is easier to crash when you're in this view, but it is a lot of fun. 
Now I did let my five year old niece drive this jet, you know, she was watching me play and she was begging me to let her fly it. So I went ahead and let her fly it and she pulled off some really crazy moves here. Check this out. Watch this shit. Is she gonna crash? Oh no. Boop. <laughs> Just a little skip on the roof and back up and flying. Uh, she was pretty crazy. I was pretty amazed when she did it. She was probably just as amazed. I thought for sure she was going to crash. And watch, watch once again here. Heading close to the building. Is she going to crash? Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really love playing this with my niece. She's quite a bit of fun. There's some parts of this game that really is inappropriate for her. Hopefully she doesn't say the things that they say. Or, you know, when she gets in a bad area, yeah, I think you know what I'm talking about in the game, where it's not quite appropriate for a five-year-old. You know, I grab the controller and steer her out of it. So I don't let her play it by herself. You know, this game does have a lot of bad shit in it for a five-year-old, but she definitely loves this game. I love this game so much, too. And when I seen this big blimp in the sky, I was like, oh, God, this is too good to be true. And boom. <laughs> that shit was so awesome. Fucking blew up the blimp. Only got three stars for it. <laughs> Only three stars. Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this today. Uh, you know, please go check out my other tutorials, my other Grand Theft Auto 5 videos. You know, they're really detailed. I really think you guys will like them. Yeah, you know, I appreciate any likes, any comments. I want to thank you guys so much for watching my video today. And you guys have a great day today. <laughs> this is what happens when you stand in Iraq. Oh, this is what happens when you stand in six days. Get it in! Holy shit! Oh, no! Woo! Woo! Stop! Oh, here, Stark! On this side! On this side! On this side! No, 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 no! One, two, three! Go! In every life we have some trouble But when you worry you make it double Don't worry Be happy Don't